I know. Where the hell have I been, right? Well, I'm here now. And uh, I have a whole table full of stuff here that we can talk about. Uh, let me tell you what I'm going to do in the next video, or maybe two. Uh, we're going to take a look at the first Tesla coil that I made and uh, see how it runs from a Model A ignition coil. I've made a new resonator with a Slayer circuit and uh, that's over here and we'll see how that works, talk about it and I'll show you how I made it. I've got a bare bones model in the back there. I also uh, made an improvement to the receiver of the uh, Tesla experiment and works really nice. I'm thinking that it might be something that others haven't tried yet. So we're going to look at that. Oh, and uh, for the few friends I've had that said I should paint the steps, I've done that too. And even put up some memorabilia. So I'm sure that'll make all you guys happy. And some of you know already that uh, I've got an empty seat here. Uh, Remy is no longer with us, so uh, we'll just keep him in, in our hearts. Okay, so let's have a look at this standard type uh, Tesla coil then. And uh, it has requirements and of course here's your high voltage uh, source which is a model a ignition coil and you probably know how that works this uh, primary coil when it's energized it uh, pulls this little flapper away makes and breaks the connections to the primary and that of course sets up your transformer effect uh, spark gap is here a uh, capacitor and of course the primary coil and secondary of the resonator. resonator. And uh, remember, as we talked before, that this coil was not supposed to work well uh, as a Tesla coil because it was too tall and too small in diameter. But we saw how it worked on the first video. It lit up five tubes. It did all kind of stuff at a sort of a low wattage. But here... Um, it seems the case is true. I'm running on a 12 volt battery. It's probably just a little bit below 12 volts, but this is a 6 volt coil over here. So I'm going to put it on and we'll see just how disappointing it is. So you can see the spark gap is going there. But Look how dim the uh, di uh, the uh, neon light is, and the spark is rather pitiful. I'm going to put the light off, and we'll take a look at that. Hmm, it does give me a little shock, but. I don't even know if you can see it here. Anyhow, very disappointing indeed. Okay, as a comparison, uh, we're going to go look at this other one. Now, this is one that I just finished uh, a while back and just haven't taken the time to video it. Um, this uh, is about um, a thousand turns of uh, number 30 wire and of course a primary of five turns or so uh, of heavy wire. Same circuit that I used before. This is the Slayer circuit using the uh, MJL uh, 21194. So let me fire this one up. I 
it's running at uh, near 24 volts and between 4 and 500 milliamps. But now look at this. Let me turn the light off a minute. Isn't that cool? Got some nice high voltage coming off of there. And of course this can do all of the little tricks that we like. There's the plasma glow in the bulb. Uh, I got a light here. Of course the lights, uh, the tubes light up real nice. Let me get a neon. Neon works <laughs> way back. And look at the nice sparks coming off of that, off the tower. Likes, uh, likes this point up here. Makes the, uh, the spark shoot out further or something. Okay, uh, this is very simple. So this is just some uh, Schedule 40 uh, plastic tubing. And uh, I uh, glued a little end cap down there on the plexiglass. And this is two diameters of the the, tub the tubing. One is, uh, well, they call it inch and a half, and the other is two inch, I guess. Let me see. Yep, two inch and an inch and a half. But there, there's some information on it. I'm going to post this this drawing. Uh, and give a link to it so you can take a look at it there. Uh, you might be able to see that, but download it if you're if you're interested.